peace. Peace. Welcome. Welcome back. Thank you for all energetic exchanges, inspired actions. Thank you. All right, let's get into it. Peace. On this Sunday, this day of purposeful action, illumination, purpose, uh, fun, right? Childlike, whatever the situation, time to do something. For the first time, you are the first, whatever the situation is hitting for, getting your Leo on, whatever. Peace. Today is when I'm recording this June 19th, 2022. Let's get a daily intuitive message. All right, let's see what the life hack is for today. Let's see what the situation is. Right, three. All right. What's the overall situation for this life hack? All right. Welcome. It feels like like welcome, welcome to the abyss or something like that. It's I just got welcome. Like there's a, there's an embrace. There's a there's encouragement. All right. Welcome. I feel like somebody's like welcome. Like you made it. This is like a Congratulations, like you're here. All right, welcome. I don't know. All right, I'm saying what I get, but let's see. Let's get three cards. What's the vibe? All right, what am I talking about? What am I feeling? So Leo is out here. Okay. Okay. Knight of Wands reverse. Eight of Pentacles reverse. So when it comes to like things... At this time, there's an uh, emotional vibe because for whatever it's hitting for, when it comes to productivity, self-improvement, it doesn't last, all right, somewhere within this person, what they're dealing with, like, it just, it, it don't work. Like, it's difficult. Like, I try to self-improve or this, whoever they're dealing with tries to self-improve, but it just doesn't last. It's just like in and out type situation. Six of Pentacles. Eight of Swords, Reverse. Like, there is a desire. Like, I know this needs to be fair. This needs to be balanced. But I'm missing out, man, dealing with this situation. Like, just juggling, going back and forth. Significant financial, economic losses with resources. But we got the fortitude, all right? Again, Leo could be significant. But this is strength. This is um, honorability, nobility. Having the courage to, you know, tame whatever beast, okay? Whether you feel like you want to wild out or you got some kind of insatiable animalistic desires, that's that's in check, all right? Having the courage, that's there. But we got the moon in reverse, the queen of cups. I just get, I just got like crying out for help. There's like emotional instability here. Queen of pentacles, I mean, queen of cups in reverse with the moon in reverse, Cancer could be significant, like in, in in relation to some type of home, domestic situation. Emotional stability is not there. Like, again, this is not so much in the dark. I do feel like this person is trying to hide their emotional stability. I f this feels like putting on a brave face. Somebody's trying to put on a brave face. Emotionally, it's disturbing. But I don't want to project that out, this entity is saying. I don't. The moon is in reverse, all right? It's not a secret. It's not elusive. However, when the moon is in reverse for me, something is not a secret anymore or there isn't any illusion. However, there is still holding back purposefully. And that's what I feel. Like, I don't want to project this emotion out there. I am emotionally perturbed right now, whatever the situation is, disturbed. But I don't want to put that out there. This is authentically trying to put on a brave face. Like I am trying to be courageous with this emotional situation because for whatever it's hitting for, like I said, whether this is within this person's, within this person or what they're dealing with, some kind of self-development, some type of work situation, it's just not producing. Like it's not lasting. It's in and it's out. Like I can't keep dealing with the, these spurts. Like where's the stability? Okay. I need more stability more balance, more fairness, and it is upright. So there is that. And there's there's a knowing about this. That this person knows that there's juggling going on. All right, so what is the life hack with this situation? All right, what's going to help facilitate progressive change around this situation? 
so absolutely fourth, fifth house is significant. Cancer and Leo is significant. Emotions are up here. All right. The moon card is my cancer card. But Pisces could be significant too. Because that's more so my Pisces card when the Queen of Cups is in reverse. Like I'm about to go, I'm about to go crazy. I think my dad's going crazy. Like Eminem or something like that. Like I think my dad's going crazy. What's that song? Not even Haley. I think my dad's going crazy. I don't know. Something like that. But let's see what energy. All right. Pluto. Oh, listen. Listen. Wusa. Okay. Because first of all, the most transformative energies, Pluto and Uranus, is in Earth. Okay, Pluto's in Capricorn, radical purification, transformation of, of status, business, organization, uh, reality, it's just, it's just happening, all right? Wherever you have Capricorn, it's just going, it, like, listen, if you ain't going with the flow of change and resurrection and things like that, you're going to have a hard time. It's still there, and it's, in its, and it's very powerful there. It's like 28 degrees there, okay? It's, 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 it's doing the damn thing there. So there's that, all right? And Uranus, okay? Uranus is, listen, you're going to be inspired to do it, or you're going to, like, you know, through inspiration or rebellion, but this is about uniqueness. This is radical change, too. But in order to bring it back together, this is very individualistic, and this energy is in the sign of Taurus. What makes you comfortable? Your core values, your personal money, your talent, okay, is all authentically undergoing change. Gotta go with it, all right? So there's that. All right, change is the name of the game right now. Tra change, transformation, transmission, trans shit, okay? Alchemy, whatever, individualistic, uniqueness, inspiration, intuition with Uranus. All right, what archetype are we talking about that's going to help with this? What archetype? We have Aries right now. So right now, Mars is in Aries. People feeling real froggy with whoever they think they are right now, okay? They they really, they willing to fight over it, so be aware. And then also be aware that Chiron is in Aries too. They might not even necessarily know who they are because Chir Chiron is where you can't help yourself, all right? Like, you know, they could like to correlate that to, you know, child wounding or where you need to heal the inner child. They could say that. But for me, Chiron, before you can help somebody else, you got to help yourself. All right, it's authentic. Chiron for me is like when you authentically can't help yourself. When I see the Chiron symbol, like as far as astrology, to me it looked like it's waving the right fl white flag. Like I surrender, I give up. Let me let me do this, and once I help myself, I can help somebody else or something like that. But you know, whatever. All right, Aries season could be significant wherever you have Aries dealing with Aries that could be significant or whatever. But again, Capricorn. All right, so more so this Pluto vibe. All right. Changes are happening with reality overall. All right. Organization, politics, whatever the situation is. Balls, the goat, whatever. Don't get eaten. OK. And what area of life is being highlighted right now? So absolutely business. Tenth house. All right. Second house. Finances, earth houses, mostly tenth and second. Your personal finances, your personal status, your career, what you're going to leave behind, what you're going to be known for. 10th house. You still got to leave it. You still got to leave it. I mean, we got, uh, again, 5th and 4th house up here. But let's see. I don't know. I think my dad's going crazy. Don't go crazy. All right. So the eighth house is here, a transformation, shit, secrets, all right, beyond the veil, all right, alchemy is happening, shared resources, power, all right, infinite abundance, all right, inheritance, whatever it's sitting for, all right, so be aware, uh, Scorpio is self-noting right now, so all that uh, magnetism, uh, being way too lost in desire, sex, uh, too much intimacy, all that is regressive energy over the next year or so, right? With Scorpio being self-node. But what came out is the fifth house, 
All right. Again, it's up here. So strong Leo. So be aware of your individual purpose, fifth house. All right. Creativity, drama. All right. Uh, leadership, the fifth house. All right. Taking a gamble on shit. Children. All right. For whatever it's hitting for. So action steps to take at this time to facilitate the situation. All right. Action steps. The life hacks. Right. So spiritually, stir up the situation by using your goals with the trust of a child. Spiritually, stir up the situation by using your goals with the trust of a child. Even when children get hurt or you say, no, they're going to do it anyway. Okay, I got a whole Capricorn rising, okay? She don't stop and she's going to do it anyway. <sighs> Moving right along, all right? Mentally, be open to new ideas about the day-to-day -day reality of fun, romance, and making art. Mentally, be open to new ideas about the day-to-day -day reality of fun, romance, and making art day by day. Yesterday was yesterday. I told you, children, they don't care, all right? You beat their ass, all right, and then you feel bad because you know you're supposed to stop doing that. You know that ain't the answer. They're going to do what they want to do anyway. You only whoop ass because you got whooped, all right? But even if you do slip up or whatever and do it out of anger, ain't they still trying to hug you? Uh, five minutes later, if you, if they got strong Scorpio, maybe it's like a couple hours later, but they, they still forgive and forget, right? Or whatever. Day to day. Every day's a new day. Every day's a different day, whatever. All right. Physically invent. This is a very pioneering time. Uranus. New, new age Aquarius. That's what they are saying, right? I mean, if that's what you want to call it, but we, if we already been there, and you remixing it, I mean, whatever. But physically, invent a way to use the most business-like way and do it dramatically, all right? Physically, invent a way to use the most business-like way and do it dramatically, all right? And then when it comes to outcomes, getting what you deserve when it's time. All right, according, according to this situation and this life hack, all right, spiritually, an unusual example of dedication to achieve the power of love. Spiritually, an unusual example of dedication to achieve the power of love. Mentally, a different way of looking at focusing on investment, gambles, and other things games, all right? Different, ingenuitive, all right? Mentally, a different way of looking at focusing on investment gambles and other games and then physically, okay, which we all kind of like gear more toward, right? I get it. Physically, an unexpected change, physically, an unexpected change resulting from the rules imposed by your creations. Are you free? What type of rules do you have? Because physically there'll be an unexpected change resulting from the rules imposed by your creations. I mean, children draw a side of lines. So there's that, all right? Right, and if you think it's a horse, and they say it's a it's a caterpillar, listen. So what frequency? One more. Yeah. Okay. So what frequency to keep you know maintain with this vibe? What frequency? What is a frequency? I just got romance and sacral chakra but let's see and third eye chakra okay magic magic all right allowance and sacral chakra all right throat chakra divine masculine all right but integration when it comes to so strong gemini and leo having the courage 
all right? Strong, direct, factual, for whatever it's hitting for, truthful, I should say, communication, integrating those two, courage, childlike drama, happiness, all right? Brave heart, all right? Yellow, all right? Illumination, pairing that with, you know, the truth, all right? Communication, but we got integration here, more social, very much so communication, but into, uh, Integration. The frequency of integration supports our embrace of every aspect of ourselves, allowing what we perceive as positive and what we perceive as negative to harmonize in a balanced symphony of life. The frequency of integration supports our embrace of every aspect of ourselves, allowing what we perceive as positive and what we perceive as negative to harmonize in a balanced symphony of life. All right. Appreciate you. And I'll see you next time. Peace.